Okay, what is up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Random Crap With Me. Alright, so today, I am going to have a look at all of the upcoming anime that are coming out in 2022 and 2023. There are some that I'm really, really excited for, some that I've never even heard of, but, you know, I'm, I'm up for watching pretty much anything. So, as always, if you guys have any suggestions on stuff that you want me to react to, want me to watch want me to just have a look at if there's any trailers coming out for anything by all means comment down below and let me know hit the like button smash the like button sorry absolutely destroy it sorry and <laughs> um, yeah and we'll, uh, we'll we'll see what is coming out in 2022 2023 let's get it all right. Okay, so all upcoming anime 2022, 2023. Let's see. Oh, oh, song. All right. More than likely, I will be pausing it as I more like I, I I always do that anyways. But already here, Spy Family. Been watching it onto episode ten. I think I just watched the dodgeball episode. I think that's episode ten. Absolutely hilarious. Really fun. Anya, the memes that are coming out with Anya are absolutely hilarious. I absolutely love them. It's great. But yeah, Spy Family is really fun. I was not expecting when I had no clue what it was going into it. I assumed it was literally a spy family. Nobody knew that they were spies, but, you know, they were spies. But then turns out, no, that's not what it is at all. You've got uh, Twilight, who's the spy. You have um, Anya, who is a telepath. Like, she can read minds. It's, it's the weirdest thing. Um, and, oh, I can't remember her name. Oh, the wife. I'm literally staring at her right now. I, I can't remember her name. I don't know why it's just gone out of my head. But yeah, she's an assassin. And basically, they all have to sort of join together for their own personal reasons to kind of do something. It's great. It's really funny. Uh, I really hope they do pull out season two because... Would highly recommend anyone to watch it. Kaguya-sama Lovers War. The best rom-com anime of the decade. Ooh, season 3. I have not watched that. Looks kind of interesting, to be fair. I, I can watch it. There's going to be a lot of stuff in here that I haven't seen. DBS Heroes. Cannot wait for the new movie to come out. Alright, will they give Gohan the glory that he deserves? So, this is going to be going into the like, spoilers if people haven't seen it. But I've seen it posted everywhere. So, if you don't want... To, like hear anything about the movie and you've managed to avoid spoilers I would highly recommend not like watching this part but I know that Gohan and Piccolo both get a power up apparently Piccolo uses the Dragon Balls or somebody uses the Dragon Balls on Piccolo to release his full potential kind of like Mr. Gohan uh, so he's apparently super strong now and he's kind of red like it's green but it's got like red and stuff on him it looks pretty cool and Gohan I don't know what he gets apparently it's called Final Gohan but he he has a like, silver hair, like like Ultra Instinct. So I don't know what that's all about. I don't know what the powers actually do. But uh, really looking forward to seeing it. Spriggan. I've never heard of the manga for Spriggan. But carry on. I've heard of this one. Bastard! A heavy metal dark fantasy. Yeah, so yeah. Apparently the main character is rumored to act like Anna's Volgo. Looks really good. Rent a Girlfriend. I watched the first season of that. Really fun. Um... I mean, it was a while ago since I watched it, so I can't really remember too much about it. But it was fun. It was one of those, like, stupid, just passing time anime that ended up... Actually, I actually really ended up enjoying it. So thank God they're making a second season for that. And a, oh, my God. The first... Oh, my God. That's tomorrow. Oh, my God. It's tomorrow. Hell, yes. Well... <laughs> we'll be watching that. Tokyo Revengers. Oh, I made a video on Tokyo Revengers. I absolutely loved it. I mean, yeah, some things here yeah, probably didn't really make all that much sense, but I think it was great. It confirm confirmed the 3rd of July, 2020. I thought it wasn't coming out until next year. What is happening right now? <laughs> it's going to be so good. But yes, if you've seen Tokyo Revengers, the cliffhanger on season one, bullshit. How dare they. Classroom of the Elite. I have not seen that, but I've been really, really wanting to watch it. Overload. Hell yes. I've seen... I've seen all three seasons of Overload, but I... 
I really enjoyed the first season. The second season, the, the part with the lizard men, I really didn't like that. I thought, I thought that was so boring. Uh, but the rest of the season was pretty good. Season 3 was good, so I really can't wait for season 4. I'm hoping Ainz becomes a bit less of a dick. Because let's face it, Ainz isn't exactly what you would call a conventionally good guy. Because he kind of kind of led people to his kingdom to slaughter them uh, and then basically let one go just so she could be killed to give her that sense of hope it's pretty fucked the guy's nutty made an abyss i've never seen that but call of the night also never seen that one sleepless night course course slips out to walk the streets is that like a vampire thing? Or is she just really horny right now? I don't know. Dr. Stone. I love Dr. Stone. Really terrible because I haven't actually finished it. Uh, I started it like three years ago. Or however long it was that it came out. And I just have not got around to finishing it. Not because I didn't like it. Just I, I sort of dropped off it because I caught up. Then I was waiting for more episodes to come out. More episodes came out. And then I just ended up not watching it. So now I need to rewatch it because I don't remember what happened. But Dr. Stone Ryusu. Ryusu? Uh, the 60 minute special will serve as a bridge between the second and third season. Alright, cool. So, yeah, it's got two seasons now. So I will 100% be watching Dr. Stone as well. And the next one coming up, The Devil is a Part Timer Season 2. I cannot wait. I watched The Devil is a Part Timer the longest time ago. Uh, like, oh, six, seven years ago or something. And I loved it. And I was so devastated that. It just ended, and there was no second season. So when I saw that there was a second season, my God, I couldn't wait. And it's right around the corner. And I, I sit down Mao, top tier character. I'm just saying, Mick Ronalds. Whoever made that up, you're an absolute specimen, my man. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon season four? I need to watch season three of that, because uh, my girlfriend watched season one. We're about to watch season two, but we haven't got around to it yet. And I haven't seen season 3 yet. So if I watch season 2 with her, then I'll watch season 3 with her. And then when season 4 comes out, I will also be watching it with her. So, I mean, maybe I could get my girlfriend to come in to a, yeah, a video one time. You never know. Quick sip of the drink. Sponsor me, please. If you just give me, like, 20 of these cans a week. Just this blue one right here. That's all I require. You'll be saving me so much money. <laughs> Ooh. The, oh, yeah. The One Piece film Red. Ooh, I cannot wait. A new female character Uta takes the stage in this movie. Ooh. Chainsaw Man. Can't wait for Chainsaw Man. I've not... I've managed to avoid any manga-related stuff for Chainsaw Man because I'm really, really, really looking forward to that coming out. I don't even know what it's about. Also, no, I think like what he, he like a demon thing he goes inside of him or something, and he can turn into this weird chainsaw demon thing. I, I I have no idea, but I'll be watching that. So again, if you guys want me to react to that, I'm more than happy to do that. Also, Mob Psycho 100 season three, mm. absolutely love that. Bleach Thousand Year Blood War. I mean, everybody knows that Bleach was coming back. It was the biggest thing ever. When when it got found out that it was coming back. Can't wait for it. Uh, I watched Bleach years and years and years ago. And now, again, me and my girlfriend are re-watching it. She's currently up to the Aranka arc. So, once we've done that, I think it's about, yeah, it's October that's coming out for. So, we just need to catch up for October and then we'll be able to watch it. Super excited. The animation looks so good. I hope it didn't just do that for the trailer and then it just they absolutely butcher it, but... Blue Lock. I'm not really into sport animes. And animes. Oh, God. I'm not into sporting anime. But uh, I've started getting into Haikyuu. Because uh, I, I, apparently that's really good. And my friend watches Kurokuro Basket. Uh, so maybe I'll get into it. Who knows? My Hero Academia Season 6. I did the, the trailer for that. By the way, guys, thank you as well. The support on the last couple of uh, videos has been absolutely nutty. I released a, a short, like an anime short, one that I made quite a while ago. I put it on TikTok, 
And then I just re-uploaded it to this one because obviously this is more animated related stuff. So I thought, hey, it'll probably be better on here. 1,800 views. Absolutely, no in like a day or two. Which in terms of YouTube, yeah, sure, that's not really all that special. But to me, that was absolutely insane. And then I put the One Punch Man video, uh, yeah, the video out about the new chapter. 1,100 views. Absolutely nuts. Like getting over 1,000 views is just absolutely mind-blowing to me. And I've had like... 14 subscribers in the past like couple of days which again in terms of youtube is, is is next to nothing but it means a lot to me so anyone that's subscribed anyone that's been watching my videos thank you it's 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 really it really really warms my heart <laughs> and i mean that in a sincere way not a not a not an arsehole way <laughs> oh to your eternity will i cry again that just sounds like i don't want to watch it yeah i've never heard of to your eternity before, but should I watch it? Sounds like I'll cry. Uzumaki, right now. I've never seen Uzumaki, but my friend had the book that was like this, th this thick. It was nuts, and uh, it it was just the weirdest. I don't know what was going on. It, it had the. It was weird. It was bizarre. Anyone that's seen it knows what I'm talking about. Welcome to Demon School. Never heard of that. That looks pretty cool. Suzumi's door locking. Uh, music and animation from trailer. So it's a new masterpiece. Ooh. That time I got reincarnated as a slime movie. Mm. Cannot wait. So good. Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest. Yes. Yeah, the Fairy Tale. Oh my god, I absolutely love Fairy Tale. Me and my girlfriend, again, not too long ago, earlier on. No, sorry. Well, yeah, it was earlier on this year, we finished the anime. <sighs> so good. And yeah, I, I started reading the manga for the 100 year quest, and then I heard that apparently it was coming back, anime. So I was like, well, I'm going to stop watching it, uh, stop reading it, I'm going to watch it. And it got confirmed, and I've, I've never been happy. I really hope they don't butcher it in the, uh, the, the keep it late, the source material, and they don't just start going off the wrong thing and make it really bad, because that's not what I want. Baki, son of Olga. Baki, really good anime. I just finished Baki Hanma not long ago. Uh, obviously, I watched Baki before that. I just really hope they don't stop bringing back that whole 3D thing that they did in Baki because I really, really did not enjoy that. It kind of, it just completely takes it away because you've got like them fighting in 2D and then all of a sudden when they start doing all these fancy moves, they're moving it in like 3D style and it just it completely it takes me out of, of, of watching it. But they didn't do that in Baki Hanma, so I'm, I'm hoping that they learn from their mistake. Blades of the Guardian. There's a man-eating demon and ancient... Ooh, sounds cool. Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Strangest looking anime I've ever watched, I think, but still really good. Can't wait for it. Code Gears. Studio Sunray plans to expand the Code Gears universe with this new season. Again, I've not actually seen Code Geass, as disgusting as that is. I'm an, an, an anime YouTuber, <laughs> and I've never seen Code Geass. But, uh, spoilers for anyone that hasn't seen this, and again, I haven't seen it, so technically a spoiler for me, but does he not die at the end? Code Geass is the one with Lelouch, right? But does he not, like, pretend to be the villain, and, like, stop, like, a civil war or something, and then he, like, dies at the end? So, I don't know. Bufuri, a good isekai anime similar to Sword Art Online. Solo leveling. I've just, I started uh, reading that uh, not too long ago. And uh, again, I found out that it was getting uh, an anime. Stop reading it. I cannot wait. This is going to be... If they get a really good studio to animate it, my God, it's going to be so good. Tekken, absolutely love the Tekken games. Can't wait. I, I love the fact that they've now brought out an anime. About Goblin Slayer, I was never really all that keen. It, I don't know what it was. Like, I don't, I don't mind the whole like you know the really weird moments in it, especially the first episode. If you know, if you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I was just never all that that into it. If I'm being honest with you, don't toy with me, Miss Nagatoro. Uh, I, I've seen the first two episodes and again, really couldn't get that into it. I don't know what it was, but 
I don't know. Maybe, maybe I could. I'll, I'll give it another watch. Hell's Paradise. Ninja Assassin struggling to survive on a mystic island. Ooh. Definitely have to watch that. Vinland Saga. I, I started watching Vinland Saga. Uh, I've seen the first episode and I loved it. I haven't got around to watching more yet because I just haven't had time. But yeah, I, I will be watching Vinland Saga. Dragon Ball Super, of course. I read the manga, but Lord knows I'm going to be watching this new one. I, I, I kind of hope they do the whole Moro arc in like a movie. And just kind of get that out of the way. And then just continue the anime like from uh, the, the Granola arc forward. There's quite a lot of material, so I doubt they're going to do that. And usually, even when they do do that, they're then... <laughs> do do. Even when they do do that, they then animate it in the anime anyways. And, you know, you've got a movie there that you can watch, but then you've got like 40 episodes of anime that you could watch. That's the same thing. It's a bit weird, but that's what I'm hoping. Demon Slayer. Of course, I cannot wait for Demon Slayer. Goes without saying. Jujutsu Kaisen. My God, the movie of Jujutsu Kaisen. Absolutely slapped. Can't wait for that. Konosuba. I loved the first two seasons of Konosuba. Fire Force, funnily enough, I was watching it today because my girlfriend is watching it with me right now. Season three, I haven't seen season two yet, which I'm like really, really looking forward to. So once we finish season one, of course, we're going to watch season two and it'll be new for both of us, which is a rarity when we watch anime together because I've usually seen all of them that she's watching and she just kind of has to deal with, you know, me being me, which is always fun. Dr. Stone Season 3. Hell yeah. Attack on Titan. Right. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get slapped for saying this. I know I am in the comments. People are gonna be like, what? What did you just say? How? But I am just not the biggest fan of Attack on Titan. It's an incredibly unpopular opinion, maybe, but I just. I, the first two seasons I absolutely loved. Then I got into season three, and I know people always say like that apparently season three A is like a bit shit, and then season three B is really good, and then obviously season four onwards or whatever is 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 really really good. But I just haven't been able to get into it. I don't know what it is. Maybe if I just sat and watched it like from season one all the way through instead of you know catching up to the the anime then having to wait and, and not knowing what was going on. Maybe that's what disconnected me from it, but I just have not been able to really enjoy Attack on the Titan. And I know a bunch of stuff that happens in it, so. Eden Zero, hell yeah. Really enjoyed that. I think the fact that it's literally a carbon copy of Fairy Tale, but in space, kind of is lazy, but I mean, I still enjoy it. Four Nights of the Apocalypse. Oh, the Seven Deadly Sins manga, yes! <gasps> Ooh, I forgot about that, yeah. The Four Nights of the Park, so if you didn't know that, obviously the Seven Deadly Sins ended a little while ago. I read the manga for that. The, I, I kind of like the ending, uh, but obviously Meliodas and Barn have kids. So, can't wait. Cannot wait. Jobless Reincarnation, I'm currently watching that. So, season two, hell yeah. Ken Ganeshura had the ex it had the same, yeah for me it had the exact same problem as, um, what's it called, uh, Baki, the, the whole 3D thing just kind of throws me off, I wanted to enjoy it but the fact that it was in 3D I just really really didn't like, Classroom Elite Season 3 of course, hell yeah, Black Clover watching it currently, yes, also Got a massive spoiler for Black Clover. I'm assuming you guys probably know which one I'm talking about. <sighs> Please don't spoil anything in the comments, but if you know what I'm talking about, it's probably one of the latest parts of the uh, the anime. Uh, the, the manga, sorry. So, let's just say uh, the fourth such and such and who that was. Happy days. Love getting spoilers. The beginning after the end. Another successful manhwa-like solo leveling. Uh, no anime yet. Just go read the manhwa. Awesome. Yes, I am absolutely looking forward to the anime that's coming out this year. Oh, it's going to look so good. 
yeah so if you guys want me to do like reactions and stuff to the anime then i'm more than happy to do that if not i can just do like reviews and stuff like that after the episodes or maybe i'll get impatient and i'll read the manga and i'll just kind of do what i've been doing sort of like keeping you guys up to date if you don't read the manga or anything or just like watching me ramble on but yes guys so that's the upcoming anime that's coming out in 2022 2023 as you can see 99 percent of them i really am looking forward to I really want to start some of them, especially that Classroom of the Elite. I really like the look of that, so I think I'm actually going to watch the first episode after this. Because, why not? It looks really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And, uh, if you did, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see from me. I am more than happy to do any video ideas. Coming up with video ideas is actually a lot harder for me than I thought it would be. And I don't know why. But yeah, so if you guys do have any like video ideas and want me to react to anything anime related or whether it's go on Reddit and have a look or whatever it is, just let me know guys and I will do that for you. Have a nice day and I shall see you in the next episode or video. I'll see you guys in the next video. God damn.